rise that fast, you're either ready to go and you're raptured, or you're left behind for pure hell on earth. Please don't be left behind. Please wake up and see all the signs that are happening in front of us. Everything in the Bible that has to happen for the rapture to happen, as I've said, like a broken record, has happened, my friends. It's, it's a done deal. We're just waiting for God to give the word. Jesus, come get your bride and and get them out of that place, and we're gone. The ark is, is filled up, the new ark, and we escape the terror, and we escape the destruction on earth. Except this time it's not going to be a flood. It's going to be just God's judgment, Satan, the Antichrist, and the false prophet's judgment. And it's going to be just awful, awful, awful. And the world's going to be just ripped to shreds. And if God didn't intervene, no flesh or man alive as it is. Billions upon billions upon billions will die grotesque, awful, horrific deaths. So why don't you go through all that? There's no, no need to. Jesus Christ is all of our only hopes. There's been some real earth-shattering things that have happened, signs that show us how close we are to the imminent rapture. They're everywhere. They're everywhere we look right now. You see signs. You see things right out of the Bible. You see things matching scripture verbatim. And uh, if it doesn't get you excited, something's wrong. If it doesn't get you motivated to start witnessing and praying for the lost and leading them to Christ, something's wrong. But this is, this is uh, to me, the biggest sign that I've seen yet. <clears throat> and it's not. it may not be the most thing that, that uh, sticks out and stands out to you the most, but it's the biggest thing that I've seen. We know the Holy Spirit is the restrainer. We know that he restrains evil and, uh, and doesn't allow it to totally take over like it did in the, in the days of Noah, like it did in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot. But evil is... <laughs> you guys know, um, like when this, there's going to be a panic. This is where you're starting to see people getting angry, too. And uh, they're getting angry because they know this ain't working like they thought it was, you know. They're being told one thing, then it's another, then another, then another. And what they're doing is they're, they're getting them mad, okay. And you don't want to be getting mad. And, and that's what they're doing. And see, this is where people are being more refined. You know, those that are of the Lord are not going to be uh, getting upset. We have an understanding. We know we're supposed to be making ourselves ready in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Okay? Who had, there is no guile. When he was reviled against, there is no guile in him. Uh, he didn't uh, say nothing, do nothing. He does, They did what they did to him. And he did it for one reason. That's to save us. From our sins. That's why it says knowing that he did this. We too should be willing. To walk as he walked. And be as he was. And leave vengeance to him. Because this is too big for any of us to handle. It's way too big. I don't even like to think about it. What we'd have to do to try to make it right. You know what I mean? That's a horrible thought in itself. Um, but yeah. The. This is all fake, you know what I mean? Let me I'm gonna I'm gonna go let you get a peek of it anyhow. But I can tell you that everything that he's ever told me before has come true in one way or another, even if I didn't quite understand it at the time and it didn't make sense. Uh it, it has come through and uh it wasn't a light it wasn't a light topic, so I have only to believe right now until I until I find out for absolute sure that it isn't. But right now, uh, I believe that it is. I believe that he is coming back very soon, and uh, and uh, we'll find out if it's within a year's time period or less. Um, so I'm looking uh, I'm looking for that <laughs> I'm looking for that to happen. So, anyways, I just wanted to share that real fast. But uh, I've never lied to anybody about anything, and and I'm as honest as I possibly can be with what I can share and stuff like that on this channel. So uh, hang in there and don't give up. I, I know a lot of you are discouraged. And uh, we're in difficult times and stuff right now. It's only getting worse, obviously, as we draw closer and closer to the end. But uh, but it's going to be worth the wait, and he is going to pull us out of here. He really is. And we can see we can see all the corresponding events, just like spoken of in the Bible. And for those that are looking for his return, how they can clearly see it. But those that aren't, they don't have a clue, and they're blinded to it. So uh, 
only see that uh, and you wonder how nobody can uh, see what's going on when it's so obvious it's it's spoken of it's been prophesized that it would be that way especially when you can see and, and know what's happening at the same time too okay so don't be discouraged it's actually unfolding like it's supposed to be but uh, anyways let's jump into uh, just a few topics here that I wanted to share and discuss um, World War three right the buildup of it for all you guys that are watching the news and paying attention you know with Russia Ukraine China all these different uh, pressure points that are building and uh, people dropping off like actual mines in the water and stuff like that these aren't for test drills they're actually going to do it now what's the difference between when they've said they were gonna do it before and they pulled back and this time this time they have to do it and I'm gonna explain why all right when they release the jab okay this thing all right it's not it's not one person it's not an opinion all right these are more and more people that are come out that are actually involved with this including some, a mortician that I'm going to speak on here in a second all right that uh, have seen this all over and know what's happening and watching the death toll rise okay you've got uh, members of Congress are starting to go after uh, the government in other ways because they've seen an, an increase in 2000 percent in cancer rates within the military that's been forced to take it All right there's a number of different things that are happening and we know straight from other people as well out of the Pentagon they know about two two billion people are gonna die what's the population of earth it's just about eight billion uh, the four horsemen and the six trumpet all right that's guaranteed for four billion right there the other ones when you look at the tsunamis and things that are going to be caused from uh, the asteroid impacts and stuff in the water uh, you can get your other two billion very easily all right so the numbers are going to be absolutely huge all right and I've talked before how all the things that we see playing out right now and, and what they're actually doing uh, that uh, that line up with Revelation 13 and the Antichrist and, and the beast system and everything like that and being forced to take it isn't the second half it's actually the first half okay so this stuff's coming out as a surprise to people that uh, aren't paying attention all right so it's pretty intense but I got another story I was over visiting a step uh, step family member I'll just say it's my sister all right over in Montana you know happen to sit just repent on the spot anyway so the the you know the Russian Ukraine thing all right situation um, it could be a distraction from you know what the medicine situation the current medicine situation it could be a distraction to you know from what I'm understanding you know I could from hearing so something to look at because uh, I, I guess I mean it could be maybe uh, people like start dying, you know dying from you know mysteriously this like why are people dying mysteriously people are gonna wonder and like oh I catch on so you know um, something like that if war three would happen instead of people thinking that it wasn't that or something or it could be just distraction and whatever to get them off was this current situation right but it's a situation. Thank <laughs> you.